So one of the annoying things is when you have, look at this, see this? There's like, uh, it's hard to explain, but the rivets uh, up on the top here, all of them had this like, uh, they snapped off the uh, pulls up and, and squeezes it. Every one of them. So I've had to use a smaller drill bit and drill of like a hole, but you have to go really slow because your, your drill bit wants to dance around. So I just get the sharpest one I can, something a little smaller than the gauge. Uh, hopefully you can see it, but it, I just go right at the corner or the edge. It doesn't have to be down, down the middle because you are not going to and go real slow on your drill bit. You need a sharp bit and a small bit. Get a, get a little hole started and then go back with a bigger drill. And you probably can't hear me with this drill, but oh, whatever. Oh, pretty good. There we go. You hear that snap sound. Mmm, mmm. Look how tasty that looks. <clears throat> looks like uh, quite a few years <laughs> of never coming off. I think this has probably never been moved since uh, since 79. I like to have like two drills, man, for this thing. Off. So, got our nice removed rivets. All along in there. And if you wanna see like the aftermath of at least the kitchen, I haven't found all these things. They popped out when I'm in the drills, but right here, just a whole bunch of old rivet pieces. Use the flip sides of some other fiberglass boards to do some filler parts. And then we're gonna put some fiberglass in here and we'll put some gel coat in to help it like harden up quicker or whatever. We'll probably put some filler in because it's definitely not gonna be smooth enough. Sand it down a few times, of course, in between all that. So I've scraped out from underneath the water here as much of the, uh, rotted wood as I could down to the driest, cleanest uh, under piece, <laughs> probably leaving me very little left, maybe a quarter of an inch of the wood, but that's okay, because that's just what I need. Whew, that stuff used a lot more than I thought. Hard as a rock after I added this uh, petrified. Uh, once you petrify and you leave it for 24 to 48 hours, I can't remember exactly, but I, did, I gave it about 36. You fill in the gaps with this stuff called PC Woody, and you mix it uh, one part to one part. That and that, equal amounts, smoosh them together, fix up other spots that you have. Anyway, I'll sand that down, maybe put another cone over it. How many people start off with like one project and end up going into another project, another project? Did not want to take out the benches, was just going to kind of work with them. I have a epoxy paint for garage floors. In no ways saying that it is the right way. I've used this stuff before. It works great in garages, so I think it's going to work great here too. Sanded this down a bit, but I think I'll sand it a little bit more and vacuum it out and call it a day. Putting down primer. layers of primer, uh, bullseye, three, two, one, and then this is floor epoxy. Um, it's just over top of the wood because I'm gonna be putting cork over top of that, and then I'm gonna put my wood floors over top of that. I'm already in it about 12 hours later, maybe 13. Uh, still, um, all the sides are looking pretty good. The indentation on the other side has been filled in. Uh, it's 
pretty even. If you notice, I don't have any major dips. And if we're off level, that's because I made it that way. Uh, when I was putting this in, I probably should have thought of that because, you know, this stuff levels out slightly. But then again, it was leveling to the... See, if we level over here, remember where that big divot was when I dug out? I won't bore you with all of the uh, wiring I just did, but uh, there's my seven-way of cables. I'm going to the seven-way coming off the front. Wait, maybe you can't see that. Seven way to the front, seven way cables coming in. This is a junction box, and then seven way going back. Uh, the brakes I'm gonna put on a separate wire uh, going back down below, and a 10 gauge blue wire so that uh, you know, I'll have those in the future, future proofing for myself. <clears throat> the good thing about this is not all seven ways are, are alike, as, as I said earlier. Um, I think Scamp just loves to put different ways of doing things. So, no big loss. Uh, you just move these cables as if they don't match exactly what a blinker is for a seven-way on your, on, your, on your tow rig. And then I did this on the other Scamp I had because I can't remember if it was the brown or the red or whatever that has blinkers different. I think the red comes off of the seven-way as brakes uh, or something like that. I can't remember. thing about filming something in this modern era you got a phone you film it you cut out like half of it more well more than half of it because you're not going to see all this i'm not going to go over there and stop this camera like 20 times and uh <laughs> you pick out the parts you want now that said i don't remember recording almost half this stuff so I'm, i know i was looking on youtube for a lot of repair stuff and i had to kind of wing it because it's not like everybody pays attention to, um, uh, oh, I need to record this while I'm doing it. That's what makes the better YouTube pack right? people, you know, those ones that know how to film, set up the GoPro, and all that good stuff. Luckily, I don't make any money for this, so I don't really care. I'm doing this for my own sanity, I guess, more than anything. Just so I'm not talking to myself out here. Because that's crazy. What a mess, huh? I don't have all the electrical that I would need right now, so I'm just testing stuff with this battery. Don't uh, don't expect me to leave this here because that's not where it's going to go. I'm going to have a lithium battery there instead. Or it's, this is more or less just a kind of test sanity, sanity check to see if the cabling that I'm putting in is going to work up to the lighting and it's starting to look good for ground to trailer. Because there's a ground wire that's going to go to this and then go back over here to the plate. I... Uh, I took all those lights off that were on here. They're old plastic covers, and I'm pretty sure they look pretty original. I don't know if they are or not, but they sure look like it. So instead, I don't really like the look of them. I'm going to put some different light here, but I hate to waste them. So I'm going to put them on the inside. So this one's been glued in here right now. So mind you, probably why I still have tape on it, even though it's probably good to take the tape off. Anyway, so I'm going to put these lights in here, and I did leave the other one connected in the bathroom. I just, I really don't see the need to change this out just yet, except for I might make it look a little prettier. So, you know, at least it's working now. So, you know, prog progress report, mess. just for fun, I decided to dig on this because it's kind of chilly out there <laughs> in the garage. And so, um, you know, I'm gonna work inside the nice toasty trailer. We have snow today. So outside, it's a good thing about working in the garage. <laughs> Fortunately, I went a little through right there. Nothing terrible. painting all this anyway. There's marks all over this wall.
brake lights. Let's see. No, brake lights, yellow. The right turn. So that's right. So, you know, of course, scam in its infinite wisdom, or I don't know. Maybe this is how it was when they were building these. Their wiring is a little different. See, as you can tell, I mean, they have their tail lights, marker lights on green. Red is the left. Brown is the right. Black is in the interior. Some of these stay the same. White always seems to be ground. Black does seem to be the 12 volt. Coming from the battery back to this thing on a seven way. Probably need a little bit larger. But I just gotta find some screws. Small ones that won't go all the way through my trailer floor. And a drill. Ooh, that needs a battery. I have thought about using the tape to reinforce some of this. You never know what you're gonna find when you pull back. Some stuff, I had to chisel out all about a half of that CD board and found some rod underneath. I just chiseled as hard as I could to get to the loose stuff. What's more interesting than having one scamp in your garage? having two scamps in your garage. So we picked this back up for my dad's. Now we're gonna do some work on it. And uh, gotta redo the door, latch. Gotta work on some of the interior. But she's still working pretty good. She's still a pretty solid trailer. <sighs> so in sanding this, I have found out some information. It's either I have a scamp or somebody has put scamp on here later, but I don't think I have the acorn. I think I have a scamp maybe before they had the legal issues because mine's a 79, so it's right around that same time they had the issues, which is kind of sad, actually. I was kind of hoping I had what was considered like the acorn. There's a, a person on the Facebook page that has a what I think she probably has an acorn, um, but, and because just because of her age difference in mine, um, it came out a few months later, as far as I can tell. But um, yeah, you can definitely tell it says scamp.